Today, everybody, I am still in San Diego, but Comic-Con is over, so we're just at the mall. I'm pretty excited about this because I heard that there's a few stores here that I have never been to, and there could be some pretty interesting pops, so let's get going and do some hunting. Oh, and also, I have to mention, I have very limited suitcase space, so I've really gotta be choosy today. I'll only be picking up my favorites. But that's really not a problem. I'm sure I'll find some cool stuff. Oh, and I don't know if you guys saw this, but I got a Funko Fusion stamp on my hand. It won't come off. First stop of the day is going to be Macy's, because I found out that this one actually has a mini Toys R Us inside. Just the escalator's broken. We've got to use the elevator. Okay, everybody, I'm off the elevator now, and I'm on to the third floor because we went to the second one, and apparently there's another one on top, and maybe this is where it is. Okay, it's right behind me over there. I found it. Now, if I'm going to be honest, everybody, this area isn't massive, but what I'm on the hunt for is the Jeffrey that was exclusive to the Macy's Toys R Us, where he's got a world in his hand. A globe with a Toys R Us logo. Let's see if I can find it. Now, to be completely honest with you guys, I know that this figure released a while ago, and they do have some interesting stuff. We've got like a kinetic sand section, some Lego. We've also got like some mystery stuff on sale, but for Funko Pops, I don't see any actually, which is definitely too bad because I was hoping to find one. They have a tiny Jenga, but uh, not what I'm looking for. Looks like this is the closest we're gonna be getting today, a giant Jeffrey the Giraffe plush, which is too bad, but hey, it's pretty cool to see this. Okay, I found the next store that I wanna go to. Right behind me is Chrono Toys, and they are full of pops. And check this out. They even have a giant aerial in the window. That's amazing. And like seriously, everybody, I was not kidding. This wall is massive and it just keeps going. I've been to a Chrono Toys before, but it was years and years ago and oh my gosh. Okay, I don't think you guys are ready for this. I'm pointing it at the floor first because look at this. It's the biggest minion I've ever seen. My boys. Like seriously, everybody, I am not kidding. Here is me next to it. Is this Dave? I think so. But now I should really be taking a look at the wall because I want to see what maybe I could pick up for the collection and I want to find something that I don't see everywhere like Dumbo here even though I do have this one it's kind of in the realm of what I'm thinking and so let's see what else we've got some Monsters Inc ones down here Stitch is really cool and it seems like this is kind of like the Star Wars section as well as Disney and then over here we've got a lot of music oh and coming past this wall here they actually have more figures and I'm seeing a lot of Power Rangers as well as up here there's the Jeffrey with Macy's sweater it's not the one that we were looking for I wanted a bit of a different one but they might have it you never know and then down here check this out everybody they have the jurassic world figure here with the dilophosaurus glow in the dark i love this one and i do already have it in my collection so i'm really just showing you guys for today but i haven't seen that thing in years and now walking down farther we've got some of the universal monsters toothless down there oh this is a set that i don't think i've ever seen all together before or maybe even i think okay i've seen this one in stores but never these two and now going up a bit we've got a lot of horror characters like pet cemetery nightmare on elm street and something that's really cool is this here is the original Beetlejuice that released in like, ooh, I wanna say 2012, 2011. Of course, they've been re-releasing it ever since and probably re-released it recently with the new movie coming out, but this is crazy. Or at least a crazy figure to see today. And now, oh my gosh, from How to Train Your Dragon to the Pop Ride, Hiccup with Toothless. Now, I'm not gonna be able to bring this home and I believe I pre-ordered it at my GameStop, so I don't have to worry about it, but I love seeing it in person. And now, actually doing a bit of a backup here, let me show you all of the larger characters that they have in this spot, like Bilbo Baggins with Bag End. We've also got Leo and Turtle Van and so many other amazing ones and going this way look at it there's so many huge characters available with some of my favorites like these spider-man versus spider-man as well as this one here i've never seen before in person now there are more funko pops but before we get into that section i want to show you on the opposite side here they have a giant wall of lounge fly now i'm not going to go through this entire wall just because of the amount that they have but there are definitely some interesting ones that i have never seen before in person and one of them that i will point out i guess is this space one over here of course it's pizza planet look at this it's got the like the lenticular front and then above that check it it's even on sale. It's the Buddy the Elf one. Oh, wow. Look at this, guys. They've got Tosakin down here. This is from the Legendary Creatures line, which is a pop Asia thing that I do not see ever in stores here in the U.S. I wonder what they have it for. 50. It's not that bad of a price. I just have no way to bring this thing home. I love seeing these things. And now this is the other spot that I want to show you. It looks like their exclusive wall where they've got a lot of pop Asia ones at the bottom as well as Stranger Things, Hot Topic Girl. And I mean, come on, guys. Oh, look at these ones here. They've got some of the 
original Star Wars pops with Admiral Ackbar and C-3PO, as well as, look at this one, one of my favorites, Stinky Pete. And then coming over to this end, it looks like a lot of their superheroes, as well as villains, too. I mean, like just like, you know, Marvel and DC in general. But yeah, there's some crazy stuff here. I love to see walls like this. Now, everybody, over here, they've got an expensive cabinet. I want to kind of go through these. I'll just kind of, you know, pan through them, point stuff out as I go, like this Jeremy Lin over here that has the exact same head as a bunch of other pops. I've talked about it before, but it's Captain America, Superman, Batman, literally, well, there was, that's it, actually. Oh, Shazam, actually, right above that also has the same head. And if I'm not mistaken, maybe that Aquaman. No, it's a little bit different. And then above that, check it out, everybody. We've got a lot of the Freddy Funkos, and there are some amazing ones there, like the Freddy as Chewbacca. And then above that, look at these guys, some of those really old Spider-Man you never see. And now I've got to show off this cabinet here, too, everybody, because it's a bunch of different chases. And there is one that really stood out to me, the Dipper Pines down there that glows in the dark. I don't have it, and it's only 35, so I'm thinking about them. Also down here, it's the first time I've ever seen this chase before where he's completely different. I actually really love how they did this. Alrighty, now everybody, I've made it over to Target, and because it's after San Diego Comic-Con, I'm curious if they're gonna have any of the new exclusives. Well, it looks like over at my first spot here, there's a bunch of stuff, but none of the new SDCC ones. And they've got a lot of the new Daredevils, as well as Bo-Katan, and then we've got some of the, you know, 8-bit stuff, Justice League, wrestling, and then down here, ooh, this one I've been debating on for a while, but I don't have room. So I'm gonna have to pass on this one today, but I've seen it a bunch, I'm sure I'll see it again. Now, everybody, let's come over to the collector spot, and they've got some of the advent calendars. Ooh, I actually, I don't think I saw these. Because if you guys don't know, I was actually here a little while ago, but I didn't film, I wanted to wait till today. And doing some more looking around, we have, no, wait a second, they do have this one. Check it out, number one vaporizing. This is one of the new San Diego Comic-Con exclusives. You can see with the summer convention one there, and I think is that the only one they got or maybe it's the only one left i don't know either way it's still cool to see something new i'm just not gonna get it because i did order one online oh and actually you know what speaking of new stuff we've got t-pain i know it's a bit of a tight squeeze everybody there is a cart over here but i wanted to show you another section of pops that i found where they've got the new batman ones chris stapleton and the other san diego comic-con exclusive of harry potter actually using magic or do what we're doing whatever it is you know what i'm talking about and again just like the other one i'm not gonna be getting this one today, but it is really cool to see in stores. I was able to get one online. Oh, and if you're curious how I was able to get all of them online, there was a bundle on Funko.com for every single figure except for the ones that had limited numbers. I picked up that. It was way easier than trying to hunt for them all separately. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Before we get out of here, everybody, I found another section of figures. And it seems like a lot of them are the same as the ones we just saw. But Chrissy as well as Murray are two ones that I did not see over there. And then down here, check it out. The brand new Carl. I mean, come on. This guy's great. Look at him. He's got his aviation goggles on and the grape soda pin. Ooh, I came into Hot Topic and check this out, everybody. They've got Deadpool with Headpool, Kidpool, as well as Dogpool. Oh yeah, okay, I can't get all of them today and I'll do a hunt on them soon when we get back, but I gotta get at least one. He's definitely the most popular too. Let's get this one. Well, she, sorry, I apologize, Dogpool. We gotta get her. Oh, and now looking at some new exclusives here, we've got Hello Kitty as well as Pom Pom Perrine. Pom Pom Perrine, is that how you pronounce it? I don't, I don't know if I've ever seen this one. I know it's a Sanrio character, but that's pretty much all I know. Hmm. Now this is a problem, everybody. I found Ruin Chica. It's, oh, and Eclipse. Okay, yeah. This is a hunt that I'm gonna have to wait on, but now that I know that they're at Hot Topic, I'll definitely do some digging. Now, looking at the big section here, I'm gonna kind of just like pan through it as we go because they've got a lot of stuff that we saw up at the front, but then also some new stuff like, check it out, the Yu-Gi-Oh! exclusive that was over at San Diego Comic-Con. And right in the front here, I believe this is the Hot Topic exclusive, yes, mocking SpongeBob. And now I know if I don't mention it, people are gonna yell about it. We have Art the Clown with Bike over here. First time I've ever seen that one in in person and then above that got like bleach axel rose king louis on throne and check this one out too the kermit and constantine two pack i always see this one but it's a great set oh and then you know what taking a look at the pocket pops here we've got some good ones like shrek in the middle there if you guys want to check them out and to the right of that we have batman now, i'm not sure which one this is oh he's got his wings out oh yeah i really like this okay wait everybody they also have ruined roxy up here yeah we're gonna be waiting on those for today i definitely want to do the entire set all at once i I really wish I could get them though. Oh no, this is funny. We just saw the pocket pop, but now here is the larger version of that character as well. And it's actually like a deluxe one. It's pretty massive. Now coming into GameStop, everybody, they have a good section of figures. They've got some large ones on sale too, and some pop tees, of course. But then over here, this is what I came in to check out. They have some of the new SDCC ones, Gara, as well as Lord Saw. The question is, do I need anything here? I'm not seeing anything too crazy as of yet. They've got like a lot of Pokemon ones up here, and actually 
actually a pretty good variety. Like check this out, we've got like Chimchar, I think this one is Luxray, yes it is, as well as Wooloo, look at that. But taking a bit of a step back here, I don't think I need any pops. It's always good to check though, cause you don't really ever know. It's always the one time I don't check, they get something amazing. Okay, everybody, we are back from the stores. And like I mentioned, I wasn't going to be picking up much today, but I did end up getting three pops and a pin. And I think we'll start with the pin because it isn't just any pin. It's a fig pin. Check it out. It's Chewbacca. And my mom is a big fan of Chewbacca, so I wanted to get it for her. I picked it up over at Chrono Toys. And while we were there, there was a big sale on both the pins and some of the pops. She's got a Chewbacca, but I don't think she has this one. So I decided to go for it. And I know there's a bit of a glare on it. I apologize, but this one looks really nice. Nice. Then actually speaking of the sale pops while I was over in that section I found this here and I don't think I showed it while I was in the store So it's a bit of a you know a good nice surprise if you stayed till the end I was able to get her the bikini burger Linda if you don't know She is a big fan of Bob's burgers and when I saw this one It's actually the only one I think she's missing from the new set You know the ones from the Bob's burgers movie and take a look at that there she is I gotta say it's a pretty funny figure and for like six dollars you can't complain and now I know that I was talking about picking up a figure while I was in the store and of course I did end up grabbing one It was from the chase cabinet if you remember while I was in there I was kind of looking at a few of them and I decided to go with this one here the chase dipper pines I like how he's like a little bit I don't know like a little bit lighter than usual for the chase too I think it's because he glows in the dark So they've actually got the hat to be a bit of a different color His eyes are like a little bit different and he's a bit of a purpley color instead of that usual darker hair and maybe it's because it's supposed to be like nighttime or something. I don't exactly remember. But either way, I think this is just such a cool one that I was able to get for $35. And they also sold protectors, so I got this for like two bucks too. Also, while I was talking to the guy that was working, he said that they usually have the Bill Cipher Chase, but they were sold out at the moment. And if you guys don't know that one, it's where he's completely galaxy. It's amazing. And if you compare it to the original one where he's just that yellow color, it is completely different. And I'm guessing that one's sold out because of all the new Bill Cipher stuff recently. If you don't know, over at Barnes & Noble, there was for some reason this weird book display where it has like the normal Bill Cipher one in the middle and then all these other books are like covered in some black goo. And on Disney Plus, you could actually find a bunch of different Bill Cipher things through different movies and television shows. It was really odd. And besides that, nobody has any idea what's going on. So I'm hoping that we can figure out some more information later on. And that's why I want to try to get more Gravity Falls stuff before you know it's too late. Then the last figure that I picked up was over at Hot Topic. And I'm sure some of you guys know what it is already or most most of you guys do because I was pretty excited about this one. I ended up getting one while I was there and it was dog pool. I mean, come on, as soon as I saw her, I knew I had to get it. And there were so many other ones that I wanted to grab, but I don't have enough suitcase space. And I'm guessing the ones that I didn't pick up will be available when I get back. We'll worry about them later. But when it comes to dog pool here and Deadpool being the biggest movie in the world right now, this one was definitely necessary. Oh, she's also a bobblehead. I mean, come on, look at her. This is great. It is just such an amazing pop and I also love the little like rat tail sticking out of the back it's so funny and the goggles it's just perfect and well, anyways, everybody, there you go. That is all that I picked up for today. And I hope you guys did enjoy this hunt because it was a lot of fun to go around and check out a bunch of stores I've never been to. And it was too bad that I couldn't get that Jeffrey over at Toys R Us, but I'll pick it up eventually. I just haven't thought about it in a while. And then when I saw that there was a Toys R Us in the Macy's, I figured I might as well check. Also, for anybody wondering, the Funko Fusion stamp is still on my hand. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'll see you tomorrow.